Hey everyone, a very warm welcome to Novation. I'm Shantanu and I welcome you all to the part 1 of our July 2021 current affairs sessions and today we are going to talk about the important current affairs from uh, 1 to 15th July. Okay, I'm really sorry this session would have come uh, earlier but I got really late due to some other work. I'll, I'm really sorry for that. Um, but anyway, let's start this session and uh, as always you can contact me on these social media platforms if you need any help and also please visit novation.in. Here you can find uh, the free lectures, PDFs which I'm posting on YouTube and also if you like the content of Novation, you can go ahead and support us via the donate button. Alright, so let's start today's session. First question for today. As per the Mercer's 2021 cost of living city ranking, which of the following cities is the most expensive city to live in for expatriates? Now expatriates are uh, basically folks who uh, live out of their country. Like if I'm an Indian, uh, sorry, if I live in India and I'm not an Indian, that means I'm an expatriate. Okay. So here the correct answer is D, Ashgabat and Ashgabat is the capital of Turkmenistan and it is in a grip of ongoing financial crisis due to which uh, there has been a lot of inflation and food prices are shooting up. Okay, uh, like if I give you an example, internet subscri subscription plan for the city is around $200 uh, per month. So that is like close to 13, 14,000, right? And a gallon of milk is $15, right? So that is also close to like 1,100 rupees. Okay, so it's really expensive. What is India's rank in Global Startup Ecosystem Index of 2021 by Startup Blink? So this agency has launched this ranking. Here the correct answer is C, 20, which is a really good ranking, I would say. Um, so India has jumped three spots earlier. We were on 23rd position. Now we are on the 20th position. And uh, US, UK, Israel, Canada, Germany are the top five spots this year also, which continue to lead this ranking of uh, startup ecosystem. India has also been like improving a lot on startup ecosystem. Next, which of the following female cricketers of India became the highest run scorers across all formats? Now, all formats ki baat agar karu, dosto, so it includes T20, test matches and ODIs, one day international. So the answer is basically uh, like a no brainer. I would say you would know this Mithali Raj or uh, Indian captain is the highest run scorer across all these um, formats. So she uh, surpassed former cricketer Charlotte Edwards record to reach this milestone. Next, which of the following state governments will establish health ATMs? Now health ATMs kya hai? Wo main aapko bataunga. In order to provide better health facilities to the people in the state. Here the correct answer is B. UP Uttar Pradesh government is going to set up these health ATMs. Now these health ATMs are uh, basically machines just like any other uh, you know automated teller machine through which you take out money. Here you are going to uh, you will be able to measure your BMI, blood pressure, uh, metabolic age, body fat, pulse rate, height, temperature etc. Alright so after like the COVID crisis we have seen uh, it is really important to measure such index uh, in order to you know judge your own health. Uh, next. Which state government launched a mobile app Chan Sahayak Aapka Sahayak to ensure easy delivery of government to citizen G2C services through one access point? Now this uh, app is baare mein hum janenge. Here the correct answer is D. Haryana. Haryana ke chief minister kaun hai? Wo hai Manohar Lal Khattar. Unhone ye app ko launch kiya tha. And through this app you can avail government services basically like through uh, 112 emergency calls, police, uh, ambulance, fire, health, uh, women helpline etc. Okay. Next, who has been recently sworn in as the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand? So friends, uh, abhi recently uh, Pushkar Singh Dhami ji ko CM banaya gaya hai. Inke pehle Teeth Singh Rawat ji the aur unke pehle around like Teeth, uh, Teeth Singh Rawat was the CM for close to 100 days. Then Triven, uh, before him, Triven Singh Rawat was the CM. Ye bhi lagbhag 3 mahine pehle inko hata ke uh, Teeth Singh ji ko banaya gaya tha. Now Pushkar Singh Dhami is the CM of Uttarakhand. He is the third chief minister of the state in nearly four months. Four months in three months. Three months in Next, Central Board of Secondary Education has partnered with which of the following organizations to introduce a financial literacy curriculum for students of class 6th. 
सो आई वुड से दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आपको बेसिक इन्वेस्टिंग बेसिक मनी मैनेजमेंट के बारे में पता होना चाहिए फ्रॉम एन अर्ली एज सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी एन पी सी आई नेशनल पेमेंट्स कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया इज गोइंग टू कोलेबरेट विद सी बी एस ई इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड दिस फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी सब्जेक्ट विच विल बी एन ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स इसमें आप बच्चे जान पाएंगे फाइनेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बैंकिंग मोड्स ऑफ डिजिटल पेमेंट इंक्लूडिंग कार्ड्स यूपीआई वॉलेट एटसेट्रा Okay this is an important step i would say name the athletes who will be flag bearers at the upcoming Tokyo Olympic Games for India here we are talking about India hamare liye hamare kaun se athletes फ्लैग बियरर्स होंगे आपको पता होगा दोस्तों कि जब भी कोई ओलंपिक्स होता है या कोई बड़ा टूर्नामेंट होता है लाइक कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स और एशियन गेम्स देर इज अ ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग सेरेमनी एंड एवरी कंट्री हैज देयर फ्लैग बियरर हु लीड्स द कंटिजेंट द ऑल द एथलीट्स ऑफ दैट कंट्री सो फॉर अस दिस टाइम देर विल बी टू एथलीट्स हु विल बी द फ्लैग बियरर्स वन फीमेल एंड वन मेल सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी मैरी कॉम एंड मनप्रीत सिंह मैरी कॉम आपको पता ही होगा फीमेल बॉक्सर एंड मनप्रीत सिंह इज बेसिकली द कैप्टन ऑफ हॉकी टीम ऑफ इंडिया सो इन अ फर्स्ट इंडिया इज हैव गोइंग टू हैव टू फ्लैग बियरर्स वन मेल एंड फीमेल एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू एनश्योर जेंडर पैरिटी वी स्टैंड फॉर जेंडर पैरिटी एंड वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग रेस्लर बजरंग पुनिया इंडियन रेस्लर ही विल बी द फ्लैग बियरर एट द क्लोजिंग सेरेमनी सो ओपनिंग सेरेमनी में मैरी कॉम एंड मनप्रीत होंगे फ्लैग बियरर और जो क्लोजिंग सेरेमनी होगी उसमें होंगे बजरंग पुनिया प्लीज आप दोनों चीजें याद रखिएगा नेक्स्ट नेम द एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियर हु इज सेट टू बिकम द थर्ड इंडियन ओरिजिन वेमेन टू हैड टू स्पेस वेन शी फ्लाइज इज अ पार्ट ऑफ वर्जन गैलेक्टिक्स फर्स्ट फुली क्रूड फ्लाई फ्लाइट टेस्ट यह द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी सिरिशा बनला and she is going to get into the space with uh, richard branson sir richard branson who is the founder of virgin galactic and uh, like she hails from andhra pradesh guntur district and uh, like she's be like third women to make it to space okay third indian origin women next who was appointed as the brand ambassador of khadi prakritik paint India's only paint made of cow dung very important innovation i would say so here the brand ambassador is mr nitin gadkari he is the minister for uh, ro- roadways and uh, road transport and highways and msme also so he will be virtually inaug- inaugurating india's first and only paint made from cow dung so that is a uh, organic paint i would say uh, i'm sure you might be aware that jo normal paint hota hai commercial paint it contains um uh, fuels right it has an uh, an ingredient which is made out of uh, r- uh, raw fuel right uh, i would say crude oil okay next which of the following is the first district in india to administer sputnik v at government health center pehla kaun sa district hai jisme sputnik v ko uh, lagaya gaya hai logo ko so here the correct answer is c uh, gurgaon friends aapko pata hoga sputnik v is the uh, vaccine from russia and uh, like uh, the people who get the first dose of sputnik v are eligible to get their next dose within 3 uh, 3 three, three to 4 weeks okay next name the indian origin american tennis player who lifted the wimbledon boys single title so friends uh, there are two categories men's and boys similarly uh, women's and girls so that's uh, it is like hum jo under 17 cricket dekhte hain usi type mein agar aap wimbledon mein baat karenge ek lower level ke liye kam uh, age group ke liye to it is called wimbledon boys championship so here the correct answer is a samir banerji इन्होंने ये कप जीता है ही वॉज अगेंस्ट विक्टर लिलॉफ हु इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम यू एस एंड ही वॉन्ट सेवन फाइव सिक्स थ्री इन द समिट क्लैश विच लास्टेड फॉर अबाउट वन आवर एंड ट्वेंटी टू मिनट्स नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द कंट्री वॉन द कोपा अमेरिका टूर्नामेंट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन न कोपा अमेरिका इज अ फुटबॉल टूर्नामेंट विच इज डेडिकेटेड फॉर द टीम्स विच आर फ्रॉम साउथ अमेरिकन कॉन्टिनेंट सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज टी Argentina Argentina um, you know defeated Brazil by 1-0 in the finals and they have won like major senior title since 1993 it was uh, this title and they equaled uh, Uruguay's overall record of uh, Copa America's title next which football team another football related question crowned Euro Cup 2020 champion uh, after a shootout win here the correct answer is D Italy Italy won uh, the match uh and italy was crowned the european champion uh, after they uh, you know defeated england in the shootout win in the finals 
Name the first country to adopt Unified Payment Interface UPI, which is uh, a technology developed in India for its QR deployment. Okay, QR code ko scan karke UPI ke through wahan par bhi payments ho sakenge. So here the correct answer is C, Bhutan. Bhutan has adopted UPI standards. So NPCI International Payment Limited, this is the name of the company, which is the international arm of uh, NPCI. It has taken Bheem UPI live in Bhutan in collaboration with Royal Monetary Authority of uh, Bhutan. Next is, who is set to become first Indian to judge gymnastics at the Olympics, uh, sorry, uh, Tokyo Olympics. So here the correct answer is A. Deepak Cabra, you can see him in the photograph. Uh, he'll be seen uh, officiating the men's artistic gymnastic at the Tokyo Olympics, which gets underway on 23rd July. Next, uh, which country will host World Badminton Championship in 2026? So here the correct answer is D, India. India is going to host this uh, championship. And last time uh, it happened in 2009 in India, World Championship, which took place in Hyderabad. Who among the following has been appointed as the leader of Rajya Sabha recently? Friends here, the correct answer is B, Mr. Piyush Goyal. And uh, he uh, basically took over the vacancy which was left by Thawar Chand Gehlot, who is now the governor of Karnataka. So uh, he'll be leading, the, he'll be the leader of Rajya Sabha. Okay, now friends, this is the time for your assignment questions. Aap mujhe bataiye, name the men's and women's single championships um, of Wimbledon 2021. Next, what is India's rank in Global Cyber Security Index of 2020 released by ITU? Next is, who authored the book, The Third Pillar, How Markets and State Leave the Community Behind? In tino ka answer aap mujhe comments mein zaroor bataiye ka, then I'll tell you the correct answer. So friends, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I hope the video was helpful. And if you like this video, then please like it, share it and subscribe to Innovation ko for more such important videos on verbalability, current affairs, business awareness, etc. And also, please visit Novation.in. Uh, if you like the content of Novation, you can go ahead and support us because Novation needs your support. Alright friends, so with that, I'll close today's session. I'll meet you again next time. Until then, bye-bye and please take care.